Hi, I'm Dr. Shanava, one of the orthopedic surgeons at Texas Children's Hospital. This is Kelly, one of our orthopedic technicians, um, and we're going to just demonstrate to you how to splint a patient who has an upper and lower extremity injury. When you have an injury of the forearm, you tip, want to immobilize the joint above and below the injury, so the wrist and the elbow. Um, so that typically will involve a long arm splint. So first you're going to begin with measuring the patient. Um, and so I typically take Webroll, which is a soft cotton liner, and measure from above and below the injury. Once you have a rough measurement, you're going to take that and then cut your splinting material to the appropriate size. We use a material that has orthoglass with a nice layer of um, lining over the top of it. And then what you're going to do is, um, once you have that out, you're going to begin wrapping the patient with the soft web roll to give them a nice padding underneath. Um, so start from above the wrist, tear the material as you go around to get a nice conforming fit. This splint will typically last up to a week if necessary, um, but for any injury that's significant, you typically want to see an orthopedic physician you know, within three or four days, if not sooner. So when you wrap the material, you want to wrap it so that it has a nice intimate fit um, with no wrinkles. In areas where there's a bony prominence, you want to be sure and put extra padding in that area. With upper extremity injuries, you want the elbow flexed to as close to 90 degrees as possible, um, but keep in mind that you want the patient to be comfortable as well. Once you have adequate padding, no bony prominences, then you get your splinting material wet. And then you're gonna wring it out with a towel. Once it's nice and um, wet but not saturated, you can then lay this against the patient's arm. When we wrap it, typically use ace wraps. And again, you want a fit that's not too tight but not too loose. This usually sets and hardens within about five minutes after getting wet. So during that time period, you want the patient to hold still because you don't want the, the splinting material to crack. If someone has an obvious deformity, then it's best for them to be sent to the ER for evaluation because those children might very well need a sedation or a reduction. But for a minor injury in which um, the x-rays show minimal displacement, this is a very appropriate way to treat the patient until they can be seen um, by an orthopedic surgeon within a few days.